Hey guys, uh, this is Nathan, and uh, I'm just going to show you the work that I've been doing on Rigify, Blender's auto-rigging system. Uh, we created it for Sintel, uh, but since then I've been, uh, in my spare time, uh, working to improve it to make it more user-friendly, so I'd like to show off kind of what I've been doing. Okay, so uh, first I have this model here, it's called Generic Mail, and I found it on BlendSwap. I don't know who uploaded it because it was uploaded anonymously, uh, but whoever did that, thank you. It's a good model, it's great for doing these sorts of tests. Um, okay, so let's move on. Uh, so here is uh, what I call the meta rig of, uh, or what I call a meta rig. Um, so this is not the final rig, this is the rig, or the armature that the rig is going to be generated from. Uh, and that's why it's the meta rig. It's, it basically contains information about how to generate the rig, but it's not the actual rig itself. Uh, so right now, uh, it doesn't really have any information. It's just straight up bones. So we can kind of rotate these around, and uh, it's just it's a very basic, just hierarchical setup uh, with the hip being kind of the base. Um, but this on its own is not going to generate a rig. This will actually generate nothing because none of the bones have any uh, kind of assigned rig types. So a rig type is something like, say, I want these three bones to be a spine, and so the spine is a rig type. Um, and the way that you assign those is by going to the base most bone, uh, go into the uh, bone panel, and you'll find this uh, panel called rigify type, and this lets you select the rig type. If you click on it, uh, it brings up a searchable box. I can search for different things in it. Uh, but it basically gives you a list of all of the rigs uh, that are currently in the system. Uh, so I'm going to select spine. Uh, I'm going to go over here and do uh, biped arm. Uh, and you'll notice that with some of these rig types, for example, biped arm, uh, it will have options. Uh, in this case, the IK layer. Actually, it did this before. That's why the one was there. Uh, by default, it'll pop up blank. Uh, and that means, and okay, let me hover over this. Uh, it says that it's a comma separated list of layer numbers for the IK tr controls to be on. Uh, so that's pretty straightforward. Uh, you just give it a kind of set of layer numbers, and when it generates the rig, the IK controls for the arm are going to appear on those layers. Uh, and this is important because the arm rig type actually has generates essentially two rigs. It generates an FK rig and an IK rig with an IK FK switch. Uh, and generally, you want those controls to be on two different layers because uh, otherwise it gets all cluttered and confusing. Uh, so the FK arm is just going to appear on whatever layer uh, this bone is on. Um, but the and if you don't have anything in here, then in this field, then the IK controls are going to as well. Uh, but in this case, I'm going to say layer one, which is actually layer two. Uh, it's a little bit confusing. Zero is layer one. Uh, one is layer two, etc. It's like array notation. Um, I'll probably change that before uh, final release so that people don't get, don't get confused. In any case, uh, so you can kind of keep on doing this, just assigning rig, rig types. Again, it's kind of the, the base most bone. Um, and uh, you'll notice that the uh, the neck on this is disconnected. Like, these are all connected bones, and this is disconnected. The reason for that is because the spine rig type actually searches up the chain until it reaches a bone that's not connected. And then all the bones before that are going to be the spine. Uh, anyway, so these are kind of basic uh, things. It gives you a rough idea. Um, anyway, I've already set up uh, one with all of the rig types on it. Um, so it has uh, arm, uh, has uh, fingers, and uh, some copy bones, because I haven't set up, I haven't created leg rigs or uh, neck rig yet, or anything like that. Um, it claims that I have a leg rig, but it's actually unfinished. <laughs> anyway, Moving on, uh, let's generate this and see what happens. So you can actually move this aside. Um, it's always going to generate the rig at the origin. Uh, so if you go to the armature panels, hit generate, wait a second, and there we go. Now we have a rig, and we can actually um, uh, make an, uh, we can do a quick automatic weighting, and we can kind of see how this works. Uh, so we've got uh, arm rig. Uh, does both IK and FK. Let me switch to the... So here's the IK arm layer. Uh, if we bring up the end panel, we can go to the custom properties and IK FK switch. There we go. So now there's the IK controls. Um, oops. That's not supposed to be. 
think I messed something up uh, in the meta rig. Anyway, okay, so anyway, it's pretty basic, uh, pretty straightforward. We've got uh, the spine as well. Uh, you'll notice that the um, so first of all, it generates uh, shapes. Uh, and these are actually custom bone shapes, and they all appear on the very last layer of your scene. Uh, and uh, this is actually a bug; they all appear at the origin right now. But the, if you you can actually see, they're not. Uh, if you just hit G, they'll snap to where they're supposed to be. And all of the, the custom bone shape objects, the objects that the bones take the shapes from, are put in exactly the same spot as the default positions of the bones. So this actually makes it very easy uh, to. Uh, if we just bring this back to kind of its default pose. Uh, it makes it very easy to uh, modify the shapes how you how you want. Um, let's move the rig to another layer. There we go. Okay, so now we can uh, just edit the meshes. You don't want to move the objects because that doesn't affect anything. It doesn't affect the shape. I just want to edit it in place uh, so we can make the shape a bit nicer. Something like that. Yeah, let's kind of do something similar with this. That could be a bit larger. Anyway, but so you can kind of edit these however you want to. Um, all of the bones will get shapes, uh, including these kind of copy shapes. Uh, these are not necessarily ideal shapes, uh, especially the copy bone rig or the copy rig type. It just creates a duplicate of the bone, and it doesn't know what kind of shape to make for it. So it uh, just uses this kind of silly little almost like an obelisk type shape. Anyway, so you can edit the shapes uh, afterwards to make them how you want them to be, and then if you go back to the rig, ta-da, they are like so. And okay, I think that's uh, that's pretty much it. That's the basic idea. Um, you can you can edit the the controls if you like, uh, or you can edit the certainly the names of them. In this case, uh, the pull target gets the name of the first bone plus dot pull, that might not be what you want, so I could change this to, uh, for example, uh, like, uh, elbow target dot L, yeah, and it's still going to function, uh, I'll have to turn on IK for you to see it function, but uh, still functions and everything, so yeah, you can go in and rename the controls afterwards as you like. Uh, Keep in mind that if you regenerate the rig, well, actually, a couple of cool things about regenerating the rig. First, when you regenerate the rig, or when you fir when you generate the rig the first time, it's going to uh, create a rig object, uh, an armature called rig. Um, and the second time uh, that you generate, it's going to regenerate. It's actually going to use that same armature. It's going to regenerate inside the same armature. Uh, so let's watch that happen. There we go. Uh, and so any modifiers that you set up, set, for example, we created an armature or modifi modifier on the mesh so that the armature will deform it. Uh, all that stuff gets preserved. Uh, the other thing is that uh, any layer that you put it on, it'll stay on. Uh, anyway, uh, but another thing you'll, you might notice is that the, uh, the shape modifications that we made are staying there. And that is because if a shape, already if a shape object already exists, um, it will just reuse it instead of uh, regenerating it, so it's kind of convenient. Anyway, uh, that's I guess that's a pretty quick overview. Uh, from this point on, I'm basically just going to be uh, making more rig types, and I mean, I may have a few features here and there that I want to add in still, but basically this is sort of the complete system. It's just lacking rig types, and uh, I guess we'll uh, kind of see how things go from there. Thanks for watching.